like to discuss with you about the solution of Earth's nutrition using Laplace transform. This topic is taken from mathematical methods for physicists by Afke. Before going to our problem, we have to understand two terms. First one, precession of Earth's axis and second, Earth nutrition. Now what is precession? You all at least once in your life saw a plate with top. This figure is an illustration of spinning top. So a spinning top processes slowly around the vertical axis. This is the vertical axis through its point of support while it spins rapidly about its own axis. The reason for this precession is the change in angular momentum must be in the same direction as torque on the top. Same thing is happening to our Earth also. The Earth axis rotates or processes just as a spinning top does. The period of precession is about 26,000 years. Therefore, the North Celestial Pole will not always be pointed towards the same star field. The reason for this precession is the gravitational influence of the sun and the moon acting on the Earth's equatorial bulge. Coming to nutrition. Nutrition is a small irregularity in the precession of equinoxes. So nutrition is a small oscillation within this precession. In this way, we can see the oscillatory motion. The path of the oscillatory motion is this one. So, for this phenomenon is known as nutrition. The period of nutrition is about 18.6 years and the amplitude is 9.2 seconds of R. So remember, the plane of the moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted by about 5 degrees from the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. The moon's orbital plane pisces around the Earth's in the same period of 18.6 years. The effect of the moon on the precession of the equinoxes varies with this same period. So, moon's orbital plane precession is the reason for nutrition. You can watch and detail about a precision and a nutrition in YouTube through this link. Now coming to our problem, solution of Earth nutrition by Laplace transform. For that, Consider Earth as a rigid spheroid. The Euler's equation of motion is given by dx by dt is equal to minus ay and dy by dt is equal to ax, where a is equal to iz minus ix divided by iz into omega iz. 
where x is equal to omega x and y is equal to omega y. Angular velocity vector omega is equal to omega x, omega y, omega z. I said is equal to moment of inertia above the z axis. And i y is equal to the moment of inertia about the y axis and i x is the moment of inertia about the x axis. I y is equal to i x. Now in all problems we are doing the same steps. Writing the equation for each problem taking Laplace transform rearrange to excess on the left hand side then taking inverse Laplace transform to get the solution so in this problem we have two equations dx by dt is equal to minus a y and dy by dt is equal to x now we have to take the laplace transform of both equations first one laplace transform of dx by dt that is s into x of s minus x of zero is equal to minus a y of s and Second equation, Laplace transform of dy by dt, that is s y of s minus y of zero, which is equal to a into Laplace transform of x of t, that is x of s. First of all, we have to eliminate y of s from first equation and we have to find x of s. For that, we are using second equation. From second equation, we have y of s is equal to a x of s plus y of zero divided by s. Substituting the value of y of s in this first equation. Here we can substitute the value of y of s. Therefore, our first equation changes to s square x of s minus s x of 0 plus a y of 0 is equal to minus a square x of s. Then by rearranging, x of s is equal to x of 0 into s by s square plus a square minus y of 0 into a by s square plus a square. These rearrangements can be done by yourself. Now we have to take Inverse Laplace transform of this equation to find x of t. So when take the inverse Laplace transform of this equation, on the left hand side we have x of s. So when we take the inverse Laplace transform, we get x of t. On the right hand side, x of zero is a constant, and inverse Laplace transform of s by s square plus s square that is cos a t minus y zero that is also a constant into inverse Laplace transform of a by s square plus s square that is sin a t. So finally we obtain x of t is equal to x zero cos a t minus y zero sin a t. Similarly, from second equation, we have to find y of s. 
for that rearranging this first equation in terms of term of x of s therefore x of s is equal to minus a y of s plus x of 0 divided by this s substituting the value of x of s here and rearranging and taking the inverse Laplace transform same as what we did in the case of x of s And finally, y of t is equal to x0 sine a t plus y0 cos a t. So we have two equations, x t is equal to x0 cos a t minus y0 sine a t and uh, uh, y t is equal to x0 sine a t plus y0 cos a t. These equations are the equations of a rotation of the vector in the counterclockwise sense about the z axis with angle theta is equal to a t and angular velocity a. If we choose the time axis so that y zero is equal to zero then from these two equation x t is equal to x zero cos a t because y zero is equal to zero and second y t is equal to x zero sin a t here also y zero is equal to zero which are the parametric equation of the rotation of the vector in a circular orbit with radius x zero and angular velocity a in the counterclockwise sense. So this is a solution for our problem on Earth's notation. Thank you.